Did you know that nearly 20% of children in Thailand, 16 years old or younger, suffer from distal radius fractures, or also known as wrist fractures or a broken wrist? These injuries are commonly unintentional due to falling from heights or road collisions. It is crucial for these types of fractures to be set properly and immobilized for healing. We also believe that reducing the healing time will prevent any further damage to the already injured areas. We at SYC Orthopedics have been working tirelessly to craft a device that best suits your needs, one that puts the customer's interest first and helps you get your life back on track. We present to you the bracer. Let's take a look at some of our designs. Part of the need of this project was finding a way to address reduced distal forearm healing for children in Thailand that need increased blood circulation and healing of a fracture or sprain due to accidental injury. The image shown below is an x-ray displaying three different views of a distal radius fracture. The three red arrows in the image point to the breaks in the bone. One of the main goals in our client statement is to design a wearable orthopedic device that uses infrared light to enhance bone healing and alleviate patient discomfort. This device should be low cost, user friendly, and comfortable to wear. Additionally, this device should help stabilize injured areas and reduce the healing time in children under the age of 16. Our solution first starts with an inner foam layer. This will be disposable and replaced with every patient or hospital visit for hygiene purposes. The layer will fit over the hand and forearm with an opening for the patient's thumb. The rigid outer shell would then be placed over the inner layer and secured with Velcro straps. The outer layer is made up of a hard plastic shell which is used to immobilize the fractured bones. As you can see on the top right, the IR light device to stimulate bone healing and circulation is embedded into the shell and placed directly above the injured area. The lithium ion battery as seen on the bottom left would be rechargeable and wired to the IR light source. And here's our bracer prototype. Let's dive deeper into the various components and their functions. First, we can take a look at this inner memory foam layer. The outer layer consists of one single piece and will sit on the outside of the memory foam layer as shown here. This layer is held to the wrist with Velcro straps, which can be easily replaced if damaged. The infrared light sits on top of the wrist here and the battery on the inside of the wrist here and they are connected through wiring so the battery pack does not sit above the injury. Although our prototype shows red visible light and AAA batteries, the true device would consist of infrared light, which is not visible to the human eye, and our rechargeable lithium ion battery. In order to decrease the cost of the bracer for each child, the outer component will be rented from the hospital. There is no need to charge the device throughout the duration of treatment, since each battery is long lasting, and this device can be reused by roughly 5,000 patients. The outer layer will be sterilized at a local gamma irradiation center to ensure patient safety and reusability of the device. Each hospital can purchase this device for 12,130 Thai currency, or 370 USD, but per patient for the low price of 203 Thai currency, or 6.19 USD, you can use this amazing technology and heal faster than with just a simple brace. The Bracer safer, low-cost, and rechargeable. Return to your everyday life faster. <laughs>